Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, sir. So, um, what's your name? Eddie Alexander Banks. Uh, Mr. Banks, um, my core staff is having a little trouble figuring out how to help you, and so I thought I would jump in and see if I can give you guidance or my staff guidance, because we're not clear how to help you. So, what do you need? Okay, I need, right now specifically, the sheriff to serve some documents on behalf of my equity court. And um, are they documents related to a case that's currently active in this court? No. Uh, and so, generally speaking, I don't have authority to order anything unrelated to a case that's in my court. Exactly. Okay, and so what do you, what authority do you have that I can order the sheriff to do something without a case related to it? I am Eddie Alexander the first. I'm one of we the people. I claim the laws and the protections of the Crown of England. Therefore, when I give orders and I give edicts, they should be returned. I claim jurisdiction over my court and my realm and my people. It's that simple. If anyone has jurisdiction or claim jurisdiction, let them come forward. I'm moving with the jurisdiction of common law, the land, we the people, pure. It's that simple. So why don't you just order the sheriff to do what he I did that, and he refused to do so. The party won't come forward. They won't identify themselves. And after I leave here, I'm going to the office because I'm moving to revoke charters and remove individuals from public office who violate their oath of office. It's that simple. It's that simple. I don't want to wage war with individuals to that extreme, but I'm looking for the law. Is there some reason you're not wearing a mask? Medical exemption. Okay. Um, all right, Mr. Bates, we can't help you. So okay. You need to move on. Now, as far as my orders, this is... I don't to go any further because you're putting my staff and me in danger by not following health guidelines. And you're using that as a farce to deal with the fact of discussion of jurisdiction and power. Um, I'm going to ask you to exit now, sir. Um, Let's move for the marshals. We, cannot, we, we don't have the authority to... to okay, I, I understand. I know you don't. So I'm giving you a direct order to file documents. You're saying no? Um, you, you don't have the authority to order me to do a thing. Okay. Sure, I'll, I'll wait for the marshals to escort me. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. I hope I didn't upset you or anything like that. Is there any way I can get his credentials? Article station? The Bar Association. Bar, oh, and he's a bar, yeah. Administration of the court, AOC. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. They've been excommunicado anyway. Bar attorneys. Let the uh, record show that the court has vacated the courtroom and the jurisdiction. Take notice of the gold fringe flags. I have this courtroom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Will you be able to uh, process orders? Not for me. No, I'm giving orders now. Don't let her, don't, why are you taking her away, man? Uh, because you are violating health guidelines. You want me, okay, I'll put a mask on for you, but I'm going to charge you $20,000 for this. Come on.
Hello, sir. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. You hear that escort me? I don't know. Are you going to jail? Nah. Oh. He just asked me to leave. If if I can make out some... The government's refusing to follow COVID guidelines and refusing to wear a mask. Oh, okay. Here we go. There we go. Thank you. I'm ready. So. You what lost happened? your opportunity no. to speak with me, sir, by refusing to comply when I was in open court. So remove yourself from my courtroom now. All right. Okay. That's 40000 I'm just simply trying to assert my rights, man. Yeah, <laughs> you said you knew it. <laughs> yeah, do you know the uh, the the uh, physical effect of it over long periods of time? Oh, what it causes to the uh, man? You know, you know, I uh, I did a uh, order to. Uh, to veto uh, Inslee's last um, proclamation uh -huh. to roll it back. And I filed it in federal court, too. Good for you. But it doesn't do any good when people don't listen. Well, they you're absolutely right. And, and you know, uh, you know you, you're preaching to the you know, I agree with you 100%. You know, I, I don't wear one until I put this friendly uniform on. Right. Because, uh, you know, they tell me if I don't, I don't work. But that's that's a sort that's a type of involuntary servitude. I agree. I agree. The Constitution says I have a right to be an adult. And I have a right to recognize my own decisions. And that's what I do every day when I walk out of the house. This me this means something to me. And when I'm in a position if I need to help or defend another who is not as strong, that's my obligation. Because all we we we're all entitled to that. Yeah, my friend, you, you, you yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, it's just. But they have these rules that are set in place by. You know, yeah, I right, understand. Right, hey, I greatly appreciate you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.